Photoshop has some amazing tools for photo manipulation, but it also has some features for smoothing your photo editing process. The Layers feature allows you to work with many images all at once, and you see them all together without affecting all of them together. This can be very useful for more advanced photo editing, and especially for combining pictures. When you have multiple layers, you can imagine that all of your images are on pieces of clear plastic. You can see what is behind the image, and even what is behind that image, but they aren't all on one piece of paper. In Earthen View, or MS Paint, if you lay one graphic over another, you lose whatever you just covered forever. In Photoshop, though, you can work with all the pieces of your composition separately by putting each one in a layer. Let's take a look at the Layers window. In a brand new image file, you'll only have one layer, the background. If you open up a digital picture or any image without layers, it will come up as the background. You can think of the background as your basic canvas. All the layers you create will be like clear plastic sheets that lay on top of each other to create the final image. The background can contain an image or pattern, a solid color, or be transparent, meaning there is no graphic information at all on the background. Anytime you copy and paste an image onto your canvas, Photoshop will create a new layer for it. This way, whenever you paste something into your image, you can still keep the information behind it. You can also create new layers by going to the Layer menu and choosing New Layer. This will create a brand new blank layer for you to work in. All right, you can see that the topmost layer in your Layers window is also the topmost layer on your canvas, the one that is not covered by anything else and can cover anything you put it over. We're going to use this layer to illustrate a few of the features of the Layers window. Select this top layer by clicking on its title or the thumbnail image of it. Next to the thumbnail, you will see two icons, an eye and a paintbrush. The paintbrush indicates that this is the layer you have selected and any tools or effects you use will affect this layer and only this layer. The eye indicates that this layer is currently visible. Sometimes it can be useful to make certain layers invisible so you can see other parts of the image better. By clicking on the eye icon, you can remove the layer from view, although it is still there waiting to be brought back. To permanently delete a layer, you can right-click on the layer in your layer palette and then choose Delete Layer, or go to Layer, Delete Layer. Just above the name of your layer is a field called Opacity. By clicking on the number, you can change the opacity of this layer. Change the number to 50% and your layer becomes semi-transparent. There's also a slide bar indicated by the small arrow which you can use to change opacity. You can also rearrange your layers. If you click on a layer and hold the mouse button, you can drag it to a new position in the layer window. Remember, the closer to the top in the window, the closer to the top in your image. You can also use the Layer menu by choosing Layer, Arrange, and then one of the options presented. Layers can be very useful, but sometimes they limit what you can do with your image. For instance, if you wanted to make your image black and white, it would have to be flattened. Flatten image means that all of your layers get reduced down to one, aka the background. Once again, what you see is what you get, so be sure to turn on all the layers that you want activated. When you have flattened your image, your layers are gone and can no longer be moved or altered independently of each other, so don't do this lightly. Saving your file as a JPEG, GIF, or other non-Photoshop file type will produce a flattened image file with no layers, but it will be much smaller. So if you aren't sure you're done with your image, you should also save your file as a PSD or Photoshop file. Or, 
if you just want to condense a few of your layers, just to simplify your document after you're sure of some changes, you can go to the merge down function. When you have too many layers, it can get confusing and sometimes difficult to edit. You can use control E to do this or choose merge down from the layers menu. This will merge the selected layer with the one right below it in your layers window. Take some time to go back and review what you've learned about Photoshop and have fun playing around with your new tools.